back to my channel everyone it's Carrie. today I have another project for you all for the not too shabby shop and remember you can always save 10% at checkout using the code KW10 today I'm going to be using this stamp set from Waffle Flower called Cheers and I'm going to be stamping my image down using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink onto a piece of Bristol smooth paper and I like using this paper whenever I'm going to be using my uh, clean color real brush markers it really does make the overall coloring process so smooth so if you've never tried these markers or if you're having trouble um, getting these to look the way you want them to if you have not already try them on the bristle smooth and trust me it will it will change your mind <laughs> whenever you're coloring with these these uh, markers here so for my image today, I'm going to color my kitty kind of like my uh, cat Gracie. I have three cats, so if you're new to my channel, I have three cats or did have three cats. I'll go ahead and tell you about Katie. Katie was my 18 year old kitty. She was a Russian blue and uh, she uh, died this past June and she was 18, like I said, and um, she was, she's very well much missed. But uh, then we also have Gracie. Gracie is my newest kitty. She's five months old yesterday. She's also a Russian blue and she's really helped us with the healing process of losing Katie. And then I also have Daisy who is my uh, Calico Manx. And if you're not familiar with the breed Manx, uh, that means that she has no tail. <laughs> she, there are kind of like three, I guess, if you will say categories of the Manx kitty. Uh, and some of them have like little little stubs at the ends, you know, like there will be a representation of a tail. But my Daisy only doesn't have anything at all. She is completely tailless. And uh, that makes her that much cuter, I think. But she is she is the vocal of all all the ones that I that I have and um, absolutely love all my kitties. So I'm definitely a kitty lover and a kitty mama. And especially with uh, Gracie being the youngest, she's uh, she's been a lot of light of our lives since we've gotten her in in our home. She is definitely an active kitty, um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. She's uh, made us laugh, made us frustrated, <laughs> all the things that you can think. So if you're familiar with you know having a kitty in your home, you understand what I'm talking about <laughs> with the frustration because they're into everything. So I always tell my friends at work or people in, I guess, my little inner circle that um, I really don't need kids <laughs> because I have an idea of what it's like to have children with my cats because they they represent, to me anyway, the representation of what it would be like to actually have kids because they have a lot of similarities. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I'm going to add some brighter colors to my image today because the main part, obviously, as you see, of the kitty is uh, really uh, neutral tones with the, with the dark gray. So I thought it would be nice to add some brighter tones or brighter colors to this image. So I'm going to add like a brighter pink and then obviously this kind of chartreuse color. And I really do love this color. It really is bright and bold and it's really scream summer to me. So I'm going to just use my little water brush here. I love this little water brush. It's got a really nice tip to it. And I'm going to just kind of use this to, um, you know, just kind of blend out my color there. And I'm going to add a little bit of detail to my kitty as well as um, with uh, the stripes and then also some little bit of a rosy cheek using that same pink that I used for my little, the little drink that he's, that she's holding. And it is because she, even though there's not little eyelashes, it's going to be Gracie today. <laughs> so um, I really do love how that turned out. Now I'm going to add a little bit of detail to my kitty with some little stripes here. And you wouldn't think it would be difficult to add these little triangle shapes, but I really had to concentrate on what I was doing to create these shapes. But it really does add a whole lot of detail to the overall image to the kitty. Gives him, gives him and her, gives him or her a lot of personality. So I'm going to continue on to do this, add 
one more to the face and then we're going to add three more to the uh, edge of his of uh, her little body here and I know I keep going back and forth with the gender but you get what I'm saying here so I'm going to add that and then I want to add some detail to the glasses off camera I did go ahead and add some color to the actual stem of the glass I forgot to do that on camera because I just I obviously didn't see it but that's okay. Um, I did kind of color it like a really light blue color to represent glass. And so I decided to start off by doing the glasses kind of like a light gray because I kind of wanted it kind of to represent kind of like a chrome sunglasses, but that just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So I just went ahead and just colored them darker with the darker gray color to add, to make it represent darker sunglasses. So once I get that all colored in the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and die cut this image, or not die cut it, I'm going to fussy cut it out with my scissors. There is a die cut, I believe, but the die cut itself does not cut the waves, and it's kind of kind of uh, different the way it's illustrated when it's like that, but I was going to uh, fussy cut this image anyway for my card today. So for my sky and for my water, I'm going to use some pattern papers from the Sunny Studio pack called Preppy Prints. I thought it would be different to add some pattern papers uh, to help set the scene that I was going for. So before I do all that, I'm going to create some texture or a little bit of a pattern onto my card base. My card base is actually going to be a 5x5 five five square card. And it's a piece of Lawn Fawn Mermaid cardstock. And I'm also using the same ink color, also from Lawn Fawn. And I'm just taking my ink blending tool and this Radiating Rays stencil from My Favorite Things. And I'm just going to go along all of this stencil. And it's really going to make a big difference on the background of our card. Um, you know, you could definitely not, you know, do this if you didn't want to, but for my overall scene that I was doing today, I felt that it really did add a whole lot to the overall scene and the overall look of the card. And so I'm just going to quickly continue to add this color onto this background. I'm going to remove that and you can see how well it just makes it pop. Love that stencil. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adding my pieces and I went ahead and die cut my water pieces and my main um, like sky with the um, with the dies that I chose off camera to save a little bit of time. So I used the Sizzix circle dies to create my main circle and also some stencils or some stencils, <laughs> some, some dies from Lawn Fawn, which is the, I believe it's called Waves border maybe I could be wrong about that but all of the supplies that I, I always try to list and link the supplies that I've used in all of my cards uh, in the description bar area if you're ever interested in what I'm using so I went ahead and added the main first part of the water there now I'm just popping up the second one with some foam adhesive and this will really give it a little bit of extra dimension to the overall scene so I'm just going to uh, line that up as best as I can. I tried to line up the triangles themselves uh, with up with each other since the pattern obviously is all the same pattern but different colors. And, you know, oh, for the most part, I think I did okay, but I know they're off just a little bit. But, you know, it doesn't make or break the card in my eyes, but I just wanted, that was, that's what I was kind of going for. But the way it was die cut, I couldn't do that. So as you can see, I also added a cloud to this little sky there. It's kind of like a sunset sky. That's what I was going for. So I'm going to add some liquid glue to the bottom of my image and also some foam adhesive to the top of it. So it will give it a little bit of extra dimension to my scene here. And I just love the way this kitty is holding up the glass. It's just so fun. So I'm going to start kind of eyeballing and seeing where I wanted to go ahead and put my main panel here. I decided at first to put it kind of like a toward the top at left, but then I just decided to go ahead and go ahead and center it onto the card. So I'm adding my sentiment onto this die cut white banner here. And uh, the sentiment comes from the same stamp set and I stamped it down with the same black ink as the, as the kitty. So I thought the, you know, obviously the um, 
sentiment itself. It's a little bit too short. Um, it, it doesn't take as much room up on the banner as I thought it was going to. So I just kind of cut it down at an angle just for something different. I'm going to add some liquid glue to my banner here and get that into place and uh, line that up the way I want. And then I'm going to add some double-sided adhesive to the main uh, scene panel here. And the reason why I chose that adhesive is because I didn't want to use liquid glue because usually liquid glue can kind of warp your pattern papers if you just use pattern papers and not cardstock. Um, even though this, this pattern paper is a little bit thicker than some. So, uh, but I really wanted to make sure that my panel was really well adhered to my card base. So that's why I chose the double-sided adhesive. So I'm going to take off the paper backings of that and then get that into place and really line this up as best as I can because once you press this down, it is not moving. It is not going anywhere. So once I get that into place and happy with the placement, I'm going to press it down. Then for some final embellishing, I'm going to add some stickles to this card. And it's really going to add a lot of extra detail to my water and the, um, the little... Uh, glass and the lemon. I guess that's a lemon. That's I colored it as a lemon anyway. <laughs> um, and so I really do love this color of stickles. It's probably my favorite. I'm not quite sure though if you can still buy it. I will try to find, an, find it online and if I can, like I said, I will have the link listed below for all of you. So thank you all so much for watching my video today. I really, really do appreciate it. Like I said, all of the supplies are listed and linked below the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.